Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the circular link list. Uh, before understanding the circular link list, let us first try to understand what is the problem associated with the linear link list. The linear link list says that if I have uh, reached to the last node while doing the traversal, there is no way I can come back. Okay, if while doing the traversal, I have reached to the last node or we have crossed this, we are not able to come back to the previous node. Okay, so there is no way we can come to the previous nodes. <coughs> and another thing is that uh, if we list out the time and the space complexity of various operations on the linear link list, see that insert end operation requires theta n operation, uh, theta n time, and delete end operation requires theta n time. The rest of the operations are requiring theta 1 time. So if we are in any case able to reduce this theta n to theta 1, that will be a great achievement. So in uh, anticipation of that, we have the circular link list in which we just do one modification, in fact two modification, not one. The address of the, uh, the next field of the last node contains the address of the first node. Okay, next field of the last node contains the address of the first node and it start contains the address of the last node. So these are the two modifications in the linear link list. In the linear link list, the start was there with the first node. Now in the circular link list, the start is there uh, is at the last node. Okay, so let us try to write some of the algorithms related to the circular link list. The first one is, let's say, insert beginning. So let's say, not this is not start. Let's say this is C start. Just to differentiate it from the linear link list, we are writing it as C start. So X is the information which is required to be inserted in the circular link list as a first node. So if you need to insert as a first node, we need to call to the get node function that will give us a node. So P equals to get node which has given us a node. I need to keep an information X here. So P dot info is equals to X. And then I need to link this node with this node. Okay, so the next field of this node will contain the address of this node. What is the address of this node? If this is C start, the address of this node is C start dot next. Okay, so the first node, the earlier first node has the address C start dot next. I need to set the next field of this new node to take the address of this node. So p dot next will keep the address of this node. So p dot next equals to c dot next c dot c start dot next. This is the address of this node. Now after this, I need to link this node to this node because the last node will keep the address of the first node. So c start dot next. is keeping the address of the first node, that is P. So this is the algorithm for insert beginning. Let's look at uh, this once again. We have taken a new node by calling the function P equals to get node. We are storing the information X here in this node. After this, next field of this node will keep the address of this node, which was earlier first node. So P dot next is keeping the address of this node p dot next is keeping the address of this node which is c star dot next if this is c star the address of this node will be c star dot next after this <coughs> you have linked these two nodes the next field of the last node should contain the address of the first node so c star dot next will now keep the address of p c dot c star dot next is equals to p so this is the insert beginning function Now, <clears throat> there will be no change in the insert after function. Let's say we are writing the insert after function wherein the address of P node is given and X is the information which is required to be inserted. Let's say this is the link list. And the next field of this node is pointing to the first node. 
So only thing given to us is the address of one node which is P and we have to insert a node after this. So how can that insertion be done? You take a new node, store the information X here. The next field of this node needs to take the address of this node and next field of this node will take the address of this node. So in, in this case, the node Q is inserted in between these two nodes. So Q equals to get node. The information content of this node has been set to X. After this, this node will keep the address of this node. If this is P, the address of this node will be P dot next. So the next field of this node will contain the address of this node. So Q dot next will contain the address P dot next. Now after this, P dot next needs to contain the address of this node. So P dot next is equals to fine. So this way the insertion between the nodes has been done. So I have not uh, uh, included any exceptional condition here. I leave this as an assignment for you to find out what are the exceptional conditions which can be written. And, and if you see that this is exactly same as what we did in the linear link list. There is no change as such. Now let's try to write the insert end operation. Insert end operation is very interesting and let's see if you are able to find out any improvement over the linear link list on the insert operation, insert end operation. Suppose this is the circular link list given to us. Okay. <clears throat> and this is the C start. You need to insert a node after this node. Okay, which will keep the information x. So let's call the function p dot p equals to get node, which will give us a node, and then set the information x in this node p dot info equals to x. Now the pointer adjustments. If you see, uh, if this is going to be inserted as the last node, this should keep the address of this node. If this is C start, what is this node? This is C start dot next. Address of this node will be C start dot next. So P dot next will keep the address of C start dot next. Okay. Now after this, you need to link these two nodes. This node is C start. This node is P. Next field of C start will now keep the address of this node because this is the new last node. So C start dot next will now keep the address of this node. Now the last node has changed. This was earlier the last node. Now this has become the last node. So C start will shift to this. So C start will now be at P, the newly created last node. Okay, so this is the insert end operation. If you see <clears throat> in this insert end operation, I have not applied any loop. So since I have not applied any loop, one, two, three, four, five statements are getting executed, and the time complexity of this operation is theta one. Fine. If you see, if you compare this with this table in the linear link list, the insert end operation was requiring theta n. But here I require only theta 1. So this is the improvement over the time. So circular link list has given some improvement over the time while doing the insert end operation. Now let us discuss the delete operations. First is the delete beginning. For doing the delete beginning operation, Take an example. This is the circular link list given to us. Let's take the information also. Now you need to delete this node. So 
So after to deleting this node, what is required to be done that the next field of last node will contain the address of this node. Okay. So let's say this node which is to be deleted is P. So P is equals to C star dot next. So P is here. <clears throat> After this, if this is P, this node will have an address P dot next. Next field of this node will contain the address of this node. So this is P dot next. C start dot next will keep the address of this node. C start dot next will keep the address of p dot next. Now these two nodes have been linked. Okay. And now we need to do the actual deletion of this p node. So x equals to p dot info. We need to store the information of this node somewhere. After this the p node needs to be destroyed. So we can call the function free node which will destroy this node p and then we will finally return this x information. Okay, so this is the delete beginning operation. So having done with the delete beginning operation, let us discuss the delete end operation. Let's again take an example to understand this delete end operation. So for doing the delete end operation or for performing the delete end operation, you have to remove this node. It means you need to reach to this node also because after the deletion of this node, next field of this node will point to this and C star will come here. So I need to reach to this node and I can reach to this node only if I will traverse the link list. Okay. So how will the traversal be done? Let's take P here. Okay. So how is this done? P equals to C start. The condition of our uh, reaching this node will be condition of reaching this node will be if I have to reach there here next field of this node will keep the address of C start. Second last node will keep the address of C start then only I will be able to reach here. So I need to traverse this with the condition while P dot next is not equal to C start. I need to traverse. Okay. So what is required in the traversal? P equals to P dot next. So this node does not have the, uh, uh, the next field of this node does not point to C start. I move here. Next field of this also does not point to C start. I move here. Next field of this node also does not point to C start. I move here. Next field of this node points to C start. Yes, I stop here. So having stopped here, I am here at this node. What I need to do, I need to do this. Next field of this node will keep the address of the first node. And what is the address of the first node? Address of the first node is C start dot next. So the new last node, which is P, next field of this node will contain the address of the first node. So P dot next. Next field of this node will contain the address of first node, which is C start dot next. So I'm done with this. Okay. Now let's take a Q also here at C start. Q equals to C start because this node is required to be deleted. So I'm keeping a temporary pointer here. So now after this, the C start shifts to P. The C start which was earlier at this node will shift to this node. And then the actual deletion process of this node which is Q. So X equals to Q dot info. We have saved this information. And then after this calling the function free node which will delete the node Q. 
will destroy the memory taken by the Q node and we will finally return this X. So this is the delete end function for the circular link list. Okay. Now once done with the delete end operation, the delete after operation will also be very much similar to that of the linear link list. If you, you just go to the linear link list video and just watch what is done in the uh, in, uh, de delete after operation, the delete operation, delete after operation will be same as that of the linear link list. So I'm skipping that for you. Now moving to the traversal. Now suppose this is the link list given to you and A, B, C, D is the information printed here. C start is here. And you have to print this information of all the nodes in the link list. So traverse is the function which will do that. The address of the first node, address of the last node is given. That is C start. Now for doing the traversal, you need to start printing the information from A, from the first node onwards. So you need to start from here. So what will be the address of the first node? P equals to C start dot next. So I'm here. Now I will print the information. So I'm going to print the information of the nodes while P is not equal to C start. Okay. Now see, this P is not C start, so I will print the information of this node as A. So write the information content of this node and then move to the next node. P equals to P dot next. So P comes here. Now this also is not C start, so print the information of this node as B and then move to the next node. This is also not C start. So print the information of this node as C and then move to the next node. Now this node is C start. It means the loop condition fails. So while P is not C start, I was doing printing the information. When I'm reached to this, this node, I actually stop in the loop. The loop condition fails and we come out of the loop. And if you see that the information of the last node is yet not printed. So I need to write uh, the printing of printing the information of the last node separately. So after the loop has finished, you will write p dot info. P has reached the last node and finally the D will be printed. So this is the algorithm for traversal operation in the circular link list. Thank you.